हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ विल डिस्कस द बॉर्डर्स एंड सरफेसिस ऑफ ह्यूमरस बोन नाउ हेयर इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दैट देर आर थ्री बॉर्डर्स नाउ फर्स्ट इज दिस बॉर्डर नाउ दिस इज नोन एज एंटीरियर बॉर्डर देन यू आर हैविंग द मीडियल बॉर्डर ऑन दिस साइड विच यू कैन सी इफ यू विल ट्रेस दिस मीडियल एपिकॉन्डाइल इफ यू विल गो अबाउ यू विल रियलाइज दैट देर इज ए मीडियल बॉर्डर देन वेन यू विल सी द लेटरल साइड on this lateral side this is your lateral epicondyle and from the lateral epicondyle if you will trace above you will find a lateral border but dear students you have to keep this thing in mind that whenever you are dealing with the humerus bone it is round in the upper part and it is classically triangular lower part where you will have the three border and three surfaces clear so what are the surfaces first is the anteromedial surface now anteromedial surface is the surface which comes between the medial border and anterior border so here you can see that this purple color area between the medial and anterior border is the medial surface or anteromedial surface then you will have anterolateral surface so anterolateral surface is present between the anterior border and lateral border clear then you have the posterior surface which is here you can see the yellow color area present on the posterior side of the bone but you have to keep in mind that there is nothing like posterior border so what are the borders medial border lateral border and anterior border but these border are well classified in the lower part of the humerus so these are the important thing which you have to understand here if you will see the cut section of the bone you are able to appreciate that the shaft is rounded in the upper half and it is triangular classically in the lower part so for for that if you will make a cut of this bone in the upper part here you will realize that it is having the round uh, outline so you, if you will cut here in the upper part and then if you will see this area you will realize that it is round if you will see it from lower part you are able to understand that here the section is round enough it is not any triangular and now if you will see the lower part we have to again make a cut in the lower part so there are uh, three borders very clearly appreciable so if i will make a cut in this lower segment of the bone then you will realize that this lower part is classically triangular so that you can appreciate here see the lower cut end of the shaft of the humerus now here you can appreciate this is classically triangular shaft which is visible here clear so this is the important concept which you have to understand whenever you are reading the humerus bone it is having the rounded upper part in the shaft while the triangular in the lower half and if you want to appreciate the all the three borders clearly you have to look for the lower part of the bone there are two more terms in term of your borders one is known as lateral supracondylar ridge another is known as medial supracondylar ridge so this is the lateral epicondyle which is present on the lateral aspect now just above this purple color lateral epicondyle you can see this red color line and the lower part of this red color line is known as lateral supracondylar ridge of the humerus in the same way when you will have the medial side if you will rotate this this is the medial epicondyle and just above the medial epicondyle you are having the medial supracondylar ridge clear so medial supracondylar ridge is present on the medial side so here you can see that this is the purple area just above the medial aspect so when you are having the humerus you have to keep this thing in mind that the borders are more prominent in the lower part on the lateral side it is known as lateral supracondylar ridge and on the medial side it is known as medial supracondylar ridge clear while when you will see the medial border of the humerus it is going on the anterior surface and it ultimately merge with the medial lip of the bicipital groove while the anterior border is going to merge with the lateral lip of bicipital groove clear so this is all thank you